back to my channel. We have a, another unboxing today and it is uh, part of another figure that I unboxed, but it is the 1 7 scale, right? 1 7 I believe. Yeah, it's a 1 7 scale figure of Toru and it's from Crunchyroll. It's Crunchyroll exclusive, I believe. Uh, and it is the made cafe version but anyways without further ado let's get started um please make sure you like and subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section below so initially i was going to unbox this with the kana one but i ordered this from crunchyroll and i do not have a good history of ordering with them i've ordered like i think one figure from them and there was like no protective packaging whatsoever on there and that's how this one came in and the kana one came in so i was kind of a little too scared to risk waiting in case something was wrong with the kana i would have wanted to like contact customer service right away plus i was actually not expecting toru to come in because even though i got a shipping notification that kana was coming in i did not get one for toru at all and one day she just showed up on my doorstep which kind of sucks because it was snowing at the time outside and they just left the box in the snow and the box got wet and everything but thankfully the actual figure box didn't um okay so the inside of the box is super cute the kind of one was too um there's a little silhouette of Toru and her figure and then we have the instructions at the bottom there which I'm not going to take out but super cute box. This is the illustration that the figure is based off of. Adorable. She looks so cute and um, let's see how well they've translated it into a figure. I did really like the Kana one you know despite it being a little tricky to set up okay so just like the kana one we have the wooden floor as a base which i'm obsessed with i think it's so cute it really brings to life like the setting it's supposed to be in and i think they did such a good job i think they did such a good job with the shading and everything and even like the texture over there like little scores of wood um, and then just like the Kana one there's like a metal peg stuck in the plastic I don't know if you can actually tell but it's very short Toto's ponytail comes separate which I guess since Crunchyroll is the one that's shipping the figures is smart on their part with how terrible they are with package handling I would have preferred it attached but like had this been attached and Crunchyroll sending it it would most likely come in snapped in half Oh my god, this is so cute. So it comes with a plant. Look how well painted this is. We'll talk about it later and everything, but like, oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cute. And then it comes with this menu sign, like little chalkboard sign with like, what are they called? Omu rice, I believe, uh, sketched on there. It's so freaking cute. And then we have Toru herself. Okay, so this is kind of interesting. We have Toru herself here. I'm gonna put her on her base and kind of set everything up and then we can talk about it. All right, I'm just trying to set it up how it's like set up on the image. You will see it <laughs> more stable <laughs> on the B-roll, but basically this is how it's supposed to be. Okay, so I cannot lift this up. <laughs> so uh, we will skip to B-roll and talk about it. Okay, so first I just want to mention that I really do appreciate that the figure came already assembled with her holding the plate and the pan with the food on top. Uh, just because I had a really hard time putting Kana's cake in her hands and getting it to stay and it looked like really fragile to put together and it was. So I'm, I really appreciate that this already came assembled in that way. The ponytail was a little hard to put in. The peg on her ponytail that's supposed to connect into her hair doesn't seem to go in all the way and like you have to like force it in even to get a little bit to go through and then the scrunchie moves up and down so i guess it's to like cover the rest of the peg to, that doesn't go through i don't know it's super weird i don't know if you could see that i don't know it's just 
strange, but I mean like once you get it in, it's pretty snug in there. It's not like it'll fall off. Other than that, I think everything is assembled pretty well, super easy. She is absolutely gorgeous. I will say I thought she would be a little bit brighter in color. I don't know if I mentioned this about Kana's as well, but the prototypes make them look so much brighter in color especially like in the face or like the eyes they seemed like more saturated almost coloring here is a little duller than that it's still good but like i was expecting a little bit more brightness a little bit more color a little bit more pop just like kana's i absolutely adore how the food is kind of like flying and is mid-air it's kind of this candid shot for like flipping the food or whatever this figure is so alive and I absolutely adore that. This is like one of like the main reasons I got this figure and I decided to take a risk on Crunchyroll's website. Um, but yeah, this is like super, super neat. I don't actually know if despite these plates coming assembled, um, I don't know if you can actually remove them, but I'm not about to find out. <laughs> I absolutely love her outfit. Um, the figure does not wobble despite her standing on one foot, which I genuinely appreciate. <laughs> oh my God. Especially cause I suck at handling figures with care. But yeah, she's super cute. I love her expression. Everything is adorable. Her hair flows perfectly. So cute. I love how it wraps around her. I even really like the shading on the food. Like I think maybe on the broccoli it could have been a little bit, there could have been like more darker tones, but overall the like rice and the actual egg it looks perfect. Everything looks so good and she's gonna look even better displayed next to Kana. I believe Okay, so there aren't actual like pegs on the sides of the base that connect the two bases together for the two figures, but they kind of just fit in like a puzzle piece. I do want to like also mention how great and adorable and just stunning this freaking plant is too. Like the shading on the leaves is so, I don't know, it's phenomenal, I love it. I think the use of lights and darks in this plant is so neat and I love that you can actually see the dirt that it's planted in as well. Even like the bottom of the pot, which again, I don't know if you'll be able to tell in the B-roll, has some like shading to it too, despite it being black at like the top and the bottom. I just, if you look really hard, you can see it. But I mean, I'm glad that they, even though it'd probably be hard to tell, I'm glad that they still added it on there. You know, the the menu is kind of bland. I mean, it's, it's cute on its own, even without like, I mean, it, it's got etch lines. I don't think it really needs a massive amount of shading. I think the main like star of this little prop is the little doodle in the front. I mean, those are just little things compared to this giant beauty. I'm just like kind of relieved that she came in one piece and didn't break and her, her box even came undamaged. So yeah, again, like my only like slight issue with it would be I wish that the like colors were a little bit more saturated and brighter in her face, especially when I'm comparing it to the illustration. I know that's like two different like formats, okay, to compare it to, but like still, it would have been nice, but she looks, again, stunning nonetheless. I love her. I'm obsessed with like cafe vibes and everything, so getting this was a must in my collection and I think they executed the environment so perfectly. Like, I, ugh, I'm so obsessed with it. So, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and display her next to Kana and we can see how they look together. Okay, y'all, so they fit perfectly. You know when you have that like last puzzle piece that you need to fit into the entire puzzle and it just, it just fits in smoothly and, and it's just so freaking satisfying. That's what it felt like putting these two figures together. The floorboards fit in perfectly, no problems. I think now that I have them put together, it just brings the figures even more to life and it makes them look a hundred times better than what they initially looked like separated. Cause I feel like, I feel like, yeah, you could probably buy them separately, but I don't know. I, I think there's so much more beauty in buying them 
both. I will also say that I actually really appreciate the fact that there is no extra space on the base that's like not unnecessarily there. The figures take up the entire base space whether it's like the characters themselves or the props next to them. I did actually want to mention though that despite loving this base and how well they fit together and the fact that there's no extra unnecessary base space on there, I hate that one empty spot in the middle. I wish they kind of just made one of the bases in the front for one of the figures longer a little bit so it would completely fit kind of like on the back where it's like just one straight line that like connects there's like no and empty spots because i feel like now there's something missing there and it kind of bothers me again despite this being sent by crunchyroll i'm so glad i took the risk on this figure uh, i don't know if i've heard anybody complaining that their figure came in broken i most of the complaints on my figure collection were the same ones i had where there was little to no protective packaging on the actual in the actual shipping box and that they were having shipping issues where they got notified that one figure got shipped and another didn't i don't <laughs> i don't know how that happened but it did it is what it is i guess but super super happy with these figures i think they are so cute i love this whole cafe vibe and yeah that was the todu 17 scale made cafe version figure i hope you enjoyed this video please let me know what you think in the comment section below uh and i will see you in the next one which is hopefully hopefully soon bye bye guys